sometimes our minds make it hard for us to see the world clearly. It create unseen barriers that keep us from seeing the world as it really is. Reality is not just what we can see or touch, it's also about how we feel deep down and how we understand those feelings. Ever wondered how to see what's hidden or invisible? Stay tuned to the end of this video to find out the secrets. Human perception is as complicated and wide-ranging as galaxies. At the core of this perception is something really special, desire. Desire reflects who we truly are inside. It's the strong force that motivates us to go after what we want. In life, our desires are closely connected to how genuine and sincere our intentions are. Without any desires, it's like a candle trying to light up without any air to help it. But, here's the key thing. When our desires are honest and come from a good place, not just wanting things for ourselves or material stuff, they can lead us to real wisdom and understanding. It's when we want things to grow and make good changes that we really get to know ourselves and the world better. Meditation is a great way to get to know ourselves better, beyond just our bodies. Many people see themselves and the world in a narrow way, but with meditation, we can learn that we're more than just our physical selves. We have inner spirits living in these bodies. Our minds are not confined by time and space. Many people have had experiences during meditation where they saw things that had not happened yet in the real world, but they've seen events before they actually occur. This is really interesting. It suggests that our lives might be following a set plan or pattern. This plan seems to be in a different place or dimension, beyond what we normally understand, and it plays out in our world in its own way and time. If we see these events in meditation before they happen in real life, it implies that they're already planned or set. For someone who focused on our three-dimensional world, it might seem like these events are meant to happen. Meditation lets us glimpse this fourth dimension and realize there's more to our existence than just what we can see and touch in our everyday world. It's like discovering a deeper, broader reality where time and space are different. Can we shape our future? Definitely. Making a change is like choosing a new path. This new path leads to a different future that matches the change we've made. Our destiny is flexible, like water, and can go in different directions depending on the choices we make. Even more interestingly, what really shapes our lives is what we believe and feel, not just what we do. How we see ourselves is crucial. It's like a mirror reflecting our self-image, and this image of ourselves affects everything we do. If we begin to see ourselves in a new way, like thinking we're stronger or kinder, then our actions will change to match this new image of ourselves. It's similar to believing you're a good cook, then absolutely you will end up cooking more. Changing how we view ourselves can lead to a new future, and as our lives change, our self-image changes too. It's a cycle. How we see ourselves affects our life, and our life experiences then shape how we see ourselves. It's super important to realize how much our thoughts and feelings can shape our lives. Big changes begin with a shift in our mindset. Even if we plan our future carefully, there are endless possibilities. Each choice we make is like picking a path at a crossroads, leading us to a unique future. We all look at the world in two ways. One is based on our daily experiences and what we can see and touch, and the other is more about our spiritual view. In the past, people called these two ways of seeing the world the carnal mind and the mind of Christ. The first way is about what we feel and want deep down, while the second is about seeing things from a higher spiritual viewpoint. There's a saying that goes, people who only see things in a regular way don't get the deeper spiritual stuff. This means that when we only look at the world in our day-to-day -day way, we focus only on what's happening right now and the past and future don't feel as real to us. But when we look at the world with a spiritual view, we see time in a whole new way. We realize that the past and future are just as real as what we can touch and see right now. What might seem like just a thought or feeling to someone focused on the present becomes real and meaningful to someone who looks at things spiritually. In the spiritual world, we often get held back by focusing too much on what we can see, hear, and touch. This stops us from seeing things that aren't as easy to sense. To truly understand and see these hidden things, we need to change our focus and not just rely on what our senses tell us. Instead, we should focus on our feelings and thoughts, imagining them until they feel as real as the things we can touch and see. When we think deeply and stay focused, we can block out distractions and dive into a reality we want to be part of. 
The trick is to concentrate on what we want and imagine it in our minds. By shifting our attention from what our senses show us to the unseen world, we can grow spiritually and see beyond just what's right in front of us. Since the beginning of time, people who look beyond just the physical world have been able to understand these hidden things. This kind of sight doesn't come from our eyes or ears. We have to work at it and see its worth. Without this ability, we can't grasp spiritual truths as they only become clear to us through this higher way of seeing. The more we practice this, the more incredible power we uncover. By controlling what we imagine, we can shape our future to match what we want. Desire is what pushes us to act. If we didn't want anything, we wouldn't do anything at all. Our actions are guided by what we want the most. For instance, when someone beats an addiction, it's because their desire to overcome it is stronger than their desire to keep going with it. The desires that really drive us are the ones we think about the most. Desire is wanting something we don't have yet, something that would make our lives better. Every desire, deep down, is about getting something good for ourselves. The bigger the reward we're hoping for, the stronger our desire is. There's no such thing as a completely selfless desire. Even the most noble desires have some personal benefit in mind. If our desire weakens, our actions start to slow down too. Our spiritual side communicates with our everyday self through our desires. The key to moving forward in life and making our dreams come true is to listen to these desires and act on them quickly. It's like answering a call from our dreams as soon as it rings. When we really want something, it's almost like we already have it in some way. This is kind of like what the philosopher Blaise Pascal said, you wouldn't have sought me if you hadn't already found me. This means that just by wanting something, we're already on the way to getting it. When we really feel like we already have what we want and act like it's already ours, we start to shape our future to match this belief. Our beliefs have a strong power to make what we think come true. Once we truly feel and believe in what we want, our whole self, our body, mind, spirit, and feelings works together to make it happen. The best way to make our desires come true is to imagine how it would feel if we already had what we want. This imagining helps turn our desires into reality. It can be hard for our minds to believe in something we can't see, hear, or touch. But there's a technique that can help us see and make real things that haven't happened yet. This method might sound simple, but it's really powerful and was developed through lots of research and practice. The first step in this process is knowing exactly what you want. You need a clear desire or goal. The second step is to imagine an event that would mean your desire has come true and see yourself as the main character in this event. It's like creating a mental movie where you're the star and your dream is coming true. The third step is to get your body really relaxed, almost like you're about to fall asleep. Find a comfy place to sit, relax, and close your eyes. Then, with your eyes closed, focus your mind on the event you want to happen. It's like playing that mental movie in your head, feeling and seeing everything as if it were real. This method helps your mind believe that the event could really happen, making it more likely to come true. Imagine yourself in the middle of the action, like it's happening right now. Don't just watch it like a movie. Feel like you're really living it. To make this imagined scene feel real, pick an action that would happen if your wish came true. For example, if you dream of getting a promotion, picture yourself receiving congratulations for it. When you're ready to imagine this, first make sure you're really relaxed, almost like you're about to fall asleep, but still able to focus on your thoughts. In this calm and relaxed state, picture a coworker in front of you. Imagine reaching out and shaking their hand firmly. Have a conversation in your mind that matches the scene of you getting promoted. The crucial part is to really be in the moment, not just watching from the outside. This active involvement turns a distant dream into a current reality. You're basically bringing a bigger, more expansive reality into your daily life. It's like combining different times and places into one. The key to making your dreams come true is to actively take part in your imagined event, not just watch it. If we aim to reach a deeper level of understanding, we should keep our imagined scene in mind until we fall asleep. Imagine in detail how it would feel if your dream or wish had already come true. If you do this regularly, you'll begin to see your imagined experiences become real in your life, just like you pictured them. To make this happen, fill your mind with positive thoughts or beliefs, even if they don't feel true to you yet. If you keep focusing on these thoughts until they feel real, they'll start to show up in your life as true experiences. 
Once you truly believe these positive thoughts, your mind and spirit will work together to make them happen. Imagination is the starting point for faith and hope. We all have a powerful tool, our ability to imagine, dream, and want things. With this tool, we can create any future we want. Think of imagination as a lens, showing us what's ahead. Keep this lens clear and focused on your goals, and don't let fears or doubts cloud it. Learning to imagine, believe, and want things is really important. It's the secret to making the life you dream of. When you get good at this, you're not just shaping what's ahead, you're deciding your own destiny. Just remember, the power to change your life and understand things better is in your own mind and imagination. Before we finish, always think positive and believe in good things. That's how you connect with something greater, and that's when amazing things can happen. When good things come your way, celebrate them. Celebrating is a way to show gratitude for everything we have and who we are. And when we truly celebrate, not just with our bodies, but with our whole selves, we bring even more happiness into our lives. I hope you find this message helpful and uplifting. If it resonates with you, please share it with your friends. I really appreciate your likes and comments. The more you interact with it, the more people it can reach. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.